Hi guys, today we will be looking at pronouns. What are pronouns? Pronouns are words that can replace a noun. For example, she, he, you, them, this. Let us look at these sentences. Makai has a pink ball. Makai loves to play with the ball. Makai has a pink ball. She loves to play with it. Now in the sentence, you can see that the second sentence, Makai was replaced with she and the ball was replaced with it. Now let us look at the seven types of pronouns. Personal pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, interrogative pronouns, relative pronouns, indefinite pronouns, reflexive pronouns, intensive pronouns. Personal pronouns refer to a specific person or thing. Their form changes to indicate a person, number, gender, or case. The kinds of personal pronouns are subjective personal pronouns, objective personal pronouns, possessive personal pronouns. Subjective personal pronouns are pronouns that act as the subject of a sentence. I, you, she, he, it, we, they. I drove to the festival. Now in this sentence, I is the subject of the verb drove. Now let us look at some other sentences. You have done a wonderful job. She gained weight by eating junk food. He decided to drive to the island. It is the only way to make him eat. We bought six plums. They could come too. Objective personal pronouns are pronouns that act as the object of a sentence. Me, you, her, him, it, us, them. Now let us look at some sentences. She prepared some delicious cupcakes for me. She is baking something for you. Michelle lent him a pencil before the test. Jamie's dress was sewn by her. He failed to stand on it. They bought several dresses for us. All of them greeted the boy for his achievement. Possessive personal pronouns are pronouns that show possession. Possessive personal pronouns define a person or a number of people 
who owns a particular object. Mine, yours, hers, his, its, ours, theirs. This book is my book, not your book. This book is mine, not yours. Now, in the sentence, this book is my book, my book was replaced with mine, and your book was replaced with yours. His boat is faster than mine. Mine substitutes that word boat and shows that it belongs to me. Let us look at some more sentences. These are my mangoes. Yours are in the basket. This house is hers. His will only arrive next Friday. This bird is so big for its cage. Ours is the black one in the garage. The house on the hill is theirs. Now let us look at demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns are pronouns that point to specific things. This, these, near in distance or time. That, those, far in distance or time. Let us look at them in some sentences. Have you seen this? That is ugly. These are good times. Those were the days. Now, let's look at interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns are used to ask questions. Who, whom, which, whose, what. Who and whom are used to refer to people. Who acts as the subject. Whom acts as the object, which is used to refer to things and animals. Now, let us look at some questions with these words. Who took the computer? Whom is she talking to? Which color do you prefer? Whose phone is this? What do you want for breakfast? Now we're going to look at relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are used to connect a clause or phrase to a noun or pronoun. Who, whom, that, which, where, whose, whomever, whichever, wherever. Who relates to people? The man who called last week wants to purchase the car. Whom relates to people? I know the boy whom dances next to you. That relates to people, animals, and things. 
The television that was in the room was broken, which relates to animals and objects. Did you see the package which came today? Whose refers to possession? He's the boy whose drawing is the best in my class. Why refers to reason. Do you know the reason why the shop is closed early? Where refers to places. This is the hospital where my son was born. Whomever refers to people. You can choose one person whomever you like to share the gift with you. Whichever refers to things, qualities, and ideas. Whichever taxi you take from here, you will end at day one station. Wherever refers to places. Wherever you live, you have the right to good internet service. Indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns refer to people or things without saying exactly who or what they are. All, another, any, anybody, anyone, anything, each, everybody, everyone, everything, few, many, nobody, none. One, several, some, somebody, someone. Now let us look at them in sentences. All are welcome to come to the birthday party tomorrow. James has three dogs, so he's not looking for another. Is any for me? Does anybody have a clue where the cat went? Can anyone help me? The nurse needs to know if you have eaten anything in the last three hours. At Melissa's party, each bought a plated dish to make the dish complete. Nobody saw the cat slip out the front door. None was left in the kitchen. Everyone is sleeping in mom's bed. Natalie lost everything when her house burned down. We can start the game because everybody has arrived. Few came to the wedding after the bride had a meltdown. Many have come already. Here is some. All the students arrived, but now one is missing. Several have already offered to help with dinner. Someone is sleeping in my car. Clearly, somebody took it. Now, let's look at reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns refer back to the subject of the clause or sentence. Myself, yourself, herself himself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, themselves. I was in a hurry, so I washed the dishes myself. 
You're going to have to drive yourself to the mall today. Cassandra cleans herself because she didn't trust others to do it right. He wanted to impress her, so he cooked dinner himself. That van is in a class all by itself. We don't have to go out. We can fix lunch ourselves. The teachers saved the school money by making charts themselves. Now let's look at intensive pronouns. Intensive pronouns are almost identical to reflexive pronouns. They are pronouns that ends in self and selves and places emphasis on its antecedent by referring back to another noun or pronoun used earlier in the sentence. Myself, himself, herself, yourself, themselves, ourselves. Betty wondered whether he himself was the only one noticing what was happening. Kali knew that she herself could make a difference in the world if only she put her mind to it. You yourself can easily transform your mind. All it takes is a positive mindset. The team knew that they themselves were responsible for acting their best. We ourselves are the ones who make the greatest impact upon the earth we live on. Thank you very much, everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. Please note that there will be other videos related to English language in the description below. There will also be other videos related to reading. Thank you again, and please remember to subscribe. Bye!